Kanye West, I got to address it. Amen. Here's what, first of all, Kanye West, let me just, let's look at if this is submission to God's righteousness. Let me just give you a quote. I'm going to read you a quote because guess what? You're not going to find a statement of faith from Kanye West. You won't find it. I looked. You won't find it. Kanye West, quote. Now I told you about my, my arrogance and cockiness already. Now, the greatest artist that God has ever exist, uh, created is now working for him. <laughs> Look, that's not, that's not, I, I did find the statement of faith of his pastor, by the way, the one that he got saved from. It's not total submission to God's righteousness to believe that you're part of God's chosen elect. That is not submission to God's righteousness. It is not submission to God's righteousness to believe that you have given your life to Jesus to be saved. Give your life to Jesus to be saved. Whoa, that's exactly backwards. God doesn't need anything from you. I mean, Paul said, you know, that as though he needed anything from you. God doesn't need anything from you. As Look, God's the one that did the giving, not you. I gave my life to, to Jesus. What a bunch of garbage. I mean, it's, it's exactly backwards. Look, it's all works-based salvation. It's still all about you, Kanye. That's what it's about. Look, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket surgeon to figure this one out, guys and gals. Look, he's in the news constantly. I mean, his Google search analytics in the last few months have like gone up by like 400%. And guess who, you know, he's hanging out with who? He's hanging out with Joel Osteen. Joel Osteen's like, what? This pop culture guy? He, he's like, he said Jesus? Get him in here. Get him in here. That's what he's doing. He's like, I'm going to write a book about this. I'm not, it's, I'm not kidding at all. That's exactly what's happening. These guys are marketing geniuses. You know how to make money. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there with zeal and no knowledge at all. None. I mean, it's crazy. You get up there and you say a bunch of stupid garbage that means nothing. You believe nothing except in yourself. And you say Jesus four times in, you know, 20 minutes. And everyone's like, oh. look at all the people that Kanye is leading to Jesus. I mean, I mean, it's it's it makes me literally sick. I mean, all right, where are we at? Look, Joel, Joel, look, look, Joel Osteen knows what he's doing. I mean, he he's he may be he may be a false prophet. He's going to burn in hell, but he's not a, he's not an idiot as far as how to make money. I mean, knows how to do that. He, he's, the, he's the white, non-hip-hop version of Kanye. Yeah. That's what he is. Yeah. Right. I mean, he's maybe a little bit even more polished. A little bit better of a salesman. Maybe not. It's, it's debatable on which one's better yeah. as a salesman. It, look, that's, that's why you won't find a statement of faith, faith by the way. Because statements of faith, they, 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 they tell people where you stand and it excludes people. It offends people. You know, when you say, hey, I believe the Bible, there's a lot of offensive things in the Bible. I don't just believe, you know, the nice things about the Bible. I believe all the wrath and I believe all the, you know, the judgment in the Bible. I believe all of it. Well, you know what? That offends a lot of people. But here's one big indicator on both of those people, especially Kanye West. Where's the gospel in his speech? Where is it? You won't find it. 
His speech is all about, oh, I've done this, and I've done that, and I no longer do this, and I have figured all these things out now, and I know what's best for the American family, and I this, and I that. It's all about him. It's no different. He's just got a different niche now. And he's just whipping off a whole new bunch of people. 